Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're going to revisit a TV series called Dr. Quinn, Medicine Woman, from 1993. Dr. Quinn, Medicine Woman, is widely known as one of the best TV series ever aired. So, today, we're going to reminisce and rewatch the series with the entire cast, both then and now. We'll provide you with the original names and ages of the actors from the series and how they've changed in 2023. Now, let's explore it together. Joe Lando, who portrayed Byron Sully in Dr. Quinn, Medicine Woman, was born on December 9, 1961, in Prairie View, Illinois. He was 31 years old when he took on the role of Byron Sully. In the series, Byron Sully is a rugged outdoorsman, tracker, and friend of Dr. Quinn. He has a deep connection with the Cheyenne people and often serves as a bridge between cultures, playing a significant role in the show's exploration of the American frontier. Audiences appreciated Joe Lando's portrayal of Byron Sully, recognizing his character as a compassionate and honorable man. Currently, Joe Lando is in his early 60s and continues to be active in the entertainment industry, taking on various film and television projects. Jane Seymour, who portrayed Dr. Michaela Mike Quinn in Dr. Quinn, Medicine Woman, was born on February 15, 1951, in Hayes, Middlesex, England. She began playing the role when she was 42 years old. In the series, the character Dr. Mike Quinn is a skilled obstetrician from Boston. After the loss of her husband, she moves to a small town in Colorado to start a new life. Her close relationships with the local residents and her medical practice are central to the storyline. Audiences admired Jane Seymour's portrayal, recognizing her as a strong and talented physician. Currently, Jane Seymour is in her 70s and continues to have a successful acting career. She participates in numerous film and television projects and is also involved in philanthropic activities, serving as a role model for many. Elizabeth Quinn, portrayed by Gia Grand Johnson, was a recurring character in the series. Gia Grand Johnson was born on August 15, 1926, in Dora, Iowa. She was in her late 60s when she played the role of Elizabeth Quinn, Dr. Michaela Quinn's refined and supportive mother. Her character added depth to the show, providing insights into the social norms and challenges of the time. Tragically, Gia Grand Johnson passed away on June 4, 2018, at the age of 91. Her legacy lives on through her contributions to the world of acting and her memorable portrayal of Elizabeth Quinn. Orson Bean, who portrayed Lauren Bray in Dr. Quinn, Medicine Woman, was born on July 22, 1928, in Burlington, Vermont. He was in his late 60s when he played the role of Loran Bray. In the series, Loran Bray is a recurring character and a close friend of Dr. Michaela Quinn. He plays an important role in the community of Colorado Springs and often offers support and advice to the residents. Orson Bean's portrayal of Loran Bray was well received by the audience. He brought warmth and wisdom to the character. Unfortunately, Orson Bean passed away on February 7, 2020, at the age of 91. His contributions to acting and his memorable portrayal of Loran Bray are remembered fondly by fans. Janelle Allen, who portrayed Grace in Dr. Quinn, Medicine Woman, was born on July 18, 1944, in New York City, New York. She was in her late 40s when she played the role of Grace. In the series, Grace is a recurring character and runs the town's cafe. Her character is known for her kindness and the warm gathering place she provides for the people of Colorado Springs. Janelle Allen's portrayal of Grace was appreciated by the audience for its charm and hospitality. 
As of now, Janelle Allen is in her late 70s and continues to contribute to the entertainment industry through her acting career and her involvement in various projects. Chad Allen, who portrayed Matthew Cooper in Dr. Quinn, Medicine Woman, was born on June 5, 1974, in Cerritos, California. He was in his late teens when he played the role of Matthew Cooper. In the series, Matthew Cooper is a central character and one of Dr. Michaela Quinn's adopted children. His character undergoes significant growth and development throughout the series, making him a beloved figure in Colorado Springs. Chad Allen's portrayal of Matthew Cooper was well received, and his character's journey resonated with the audience. As of now, Chad Allen is in his late 40s and continues to be involved in various acting and advocacy projects. William Shockley, who portrayed Hank Lawson in Dr. Quinn, Medicine Woman, was born on September 17, 1963, in Lawrence, Kansas. He was in his late 20s when he played the role of Hank Lawson. In the series, Hank Lawson is a complex character who starts as a troublemaker but eventually becomes an important part of the community in Colorado Springs, running the local saloon. William Shockley's portrayal of Hank Lawson was appreciated by the audience for the character's development and his interaction with other residents. As of now, William Shockley is in his late 50s and remains active in the entertainment industry, participating in various film and television projects. Henry G. Sanders, who played the character of Robert E. in Dr. Quinn, Medicine Woman, was born on August 18, 1942, in Houston, Texas. He was in his late 40s when he assumed the role of Robert E. in the series. Robert E., known for his blacksmithing skills, is a recurring character who plays a significant role in the Colorado Springs community. He provides essential services and contributes to the town's well-being. Henry G. Sanders' performance as Robert E. was warmly embraced by the audience. His character added complexity to the show and shed light on the challenges and triumphs of the era. As of today, Henry G. Sanders is in his late 70s and remains active in the entertainment industry, participating in various film and television projects. Frank Collison, who portrayed Horace Bing in Dr. Quinn, Medicine Woman, was born on February 14, 1950, in Evanston, Illinois. He was in his early 40s when he played the role of Horace Bing. In the series, Horace Bing is a recurring character known for his humorous and bumbling nature. He runs the general store in Colorado Springs and often provides comic relief in the show. Frank Collison's portrayal of Horace Bing was well received by the audience for its comedic timing and lightheartedness. As of now, Frank Collison is in his early 70s and continues to be active in the entertainment industry, participating in various film and television projects. Jeffrey Lower, who portrayed Reverend Timothy Johnson in Dr. Quinn, Medicine Woman, was born on March 19, 1963, in Casper, Wyoming. He was in his late 20s when he played the role of Reverend Timothy Johnson. In the series, Reverend Timothy Johnson is a recurring character and serves as the town's minister in Colorado Springs. His character deals with various moral and ethical dilemmas throughout the show. Jeffrey Lower's portrayal of Rev. 
Timothy Johnson was appreciated by the audience for the complexity of his character and the moral issues he faced. As of now, Jeffrey Lower is in his late 50s and continues to be active in the entertainment industry, participating in various film and television projects. Daniel Simon was portrayed by the talented John Schneider in the series. John Schneider was born on April 8, 1960, in Mount Kisco, New York. When he took on the role of Daniel Simon, he was in his early 30s. Daniel was a captivating and mysterious wanderer who brought both romance and intrigue to Colorado Springs. His character shared a tumultuous relationship with Dr. Michaela Quinn, adding depth and complexity to the show. Now, John Schneider is 63 years old and continues his successful acting career, known for his enduring charm and versatility in the entertainment industry. Sean Tooby, who portrayed Brian Cooper in Dr. Quinn, Medicine Woman, was born on March 1, 1983, in Lincoln, Nebraska, USA. He was in his early teens when he played the role of Brian Cooper. In the series, Brian Cooper is a young orphan taken in by Dr. Michaela Quinn and becomes a part of her family. His character's journey and growth are an essential part of the show's storyline. Sean Tuvey's performance as Brian Cooper was well received by the audience for the emotional depth he brought to the character. As of now, Sean Tuvey is in his late 30s and continues to be involved in the entertainment industry, occasionally taking on acting roles. Before we conclude our exploration of the Dr. Quinn, Medicine Woman, TV series, I'd like to hear about your favorite character and what makes them so appealing to you. Please share your thoughts and feelings in the comments section below. And remember to enable the notification bell, so you'll always be the first to know when we release new content. Your support and engagement are incredibly important to me, and I want to express my gratitude for watching our video.